Rush has released a new code cache 2.0 on their tank. This version does not only hold a metal grid frame but also explosive reactive armor, most likely the Contact 1. While the first code cache version seemed to have little impact of survivability, may this new improved version stop attacks from anti-tank weapons such as the FGM 148 Javelin, Enla or other top attack threat. By using ERA blocks on top, it could be an explosive or shape shard coming in from the top gets absorbed, leaving the armor on top of the tank mainly unaffected. However, while this may seem reasonable, it actually adds very little to no protection compared to the first version, which almost protects against nothing. Going over firstly the Javelin and Enla, the Javelin uses two shaped charges to destroy its target. The first smaller is to destroy any potential ERA block, the second more powerful is meant to penetrate even the thickest armor. The Cope Cage 2.0 only covers the turret, which is mainly unprotected by ERA blocks. This would cause the first shape charge to go off, and the second to penetrate without problem down into the turret. Most of the tank is also left unaffected by the cope cage, resulting in regular manner. Going over to the end law, the problem becomes that the warhead is meant to penetrate explosive reactive armor and penetrate through at a distance, so the cope cage 2.0 is just something the end law is meant to defeat. Going over to the two other threats which are artillery and drones, Starting with artillery, this is still way too powerful to be stopped as the projectile works both as a kinetic energy penetrator as well as explosive penetrator, making it look easy to penetrate both armor and ERA blocks. This goes over to the last threat which is drones. The problem for the people who built the cope cage is that they don't seem to understand their own design. An explosive reactive armor block uses explosive material to deflect the incoming warhead, while heavy armor behind the ERA block can stop the shock with almost no effect, a much weaker welded construction cage most likely can't. This leaves the cope cage 2.0 to wait for a small warhead for the whole roof to blow apart, so it's really a one time use if even that. Looking past the fact most of the top section is still unaffected by the cope cage 2.0, a drone dropping a warhead would blast away the cage if hitting this and the only possible added protection would be with improvised penetrating warhead dropped where the ERA block could stop it compared to the old cope cage where the warhead could most likely penetrate through. So while the first cope cage protects against almost nothing, the Cope Cage 2.0 managed to protect against almost nothing more, adding only possibly a false security feeling. That's all I had for this video. Please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.